Hello everyone, this is Al, Red Sox fan, coming to you from Al, Red Sox fan, YouTube channel, hope all is well. We're going to bring you some Appa baseball card and dice makes everything nice, continuing with our 1978 Double Day Cup Game 2 of 5 between the Mets and Phillies. The Mets, spoiler alert, took Game 1, 3-2, to two, behind the excellent pitching of Craig Swan. He outduels the lefty Steve Carlton. This is game two of five, National League East region. Games three and four will head to Shea, and if necessary, game five back here in Philadelphia at Veteran Stadium, a rematch of game one starters. Tonight's starters, well, let's get to them. For the New York Mets, Jerry Kuzman, C grade, Y and Z modifier. He's a, le a right hand. He's a uh, left-handed hurler. Excuse me. For the Phillies, trying to even the series, Larry Christensen, and he's a right-handed hurler. He's a B grade Y Z modifier. Defensively, the Mets are a thirty-eight. That's fielding column two. The Phillies. Defensively, with their points, are a 43. That's fielding column one. Quickly to the starting lineups, and we'll roll some APA baseball. Joining us at the ballpark is RJL Network, our good friend Robert. Check out that channel and subscribe for inside pitch card and dice baseball. He does it quite well and highly entertaining. His 1972 World Series is coming up. And that's him playing it through the season. So it's not uh, who the hell really played in the World Series in 72. Oakland in the Reds, right? Yeah, Oakland in the Reds in 72. Oakland in the Mets in 73. Oakland in the Dodgers in 74. But you got to check it out. It's good stuff. Trav is here. Hope all is well. Black, yellow, white is here. All right, so we know Jerry Kuzman's pitching for the Mets. Lee Mazzilli leads off. He plays center field, followed by Lenny Randall at third base. John Stearns does the catching. He bats third. The cleanup hitter, first baseman, Willie Montanez, batting fifth. The DH, Steve Henderson, in left field, batting sixth, Elliot Maddox, batting seventh, in right field, Bruce Beauclair, batting eighth at shortstop. He had a tough day in the field and at the plate in game one. He made two errors in game one. Steve Foley, batting ninth. At second base, he had an outstanding game in the field, Doug Flynn. So those are your Metropolitans. For the Philadelphia Phillies, you know Larry Christensen is pitching. Leading off, playing right field, Shake Bake McBride. Larry Boa bats second, plays shortstop. Michael Jack Schmidt bats third, plays third. The cleanup hitter is the Bull, Greg Lazinski, the designated hitter. Batting fifth in center field, Gary Maddox. In left field, batting seventh, Jerry Mud Martin. Batting sixth, excuse me, Martin's batting sixth. Batting seventh, doing the catching. He played first in game one. Bob Boone getting a start at first base here in game two. Batting eighth, Jim Morrison. Batting ninth, getting the start at second base, former Metropolitan, Buddy Harrelson. All right. Without any further ado, Let's roll some APA baseball. Jim L. Hope ball as well. How you doing, my friend? Philadelphia looking to tie the series here. 
They lost game one, three to two. Lee Mazzilli leads off switch hitter. He'll bat lefty against the right-handed hurling Christensen. Christensen has the sign from Boone that pitched to Mazzilli. Ball game on its way. That is a 41 to Lee Mazzilli. A 41 to Mazzilli is a 28 bases empty. That's going to be out number one as Mazzilli makes contact. It's going to be a ground ball to short. Boa throws to Morrison. Mazzilli is retired 6-3. to three. So that is one out. Mazzilli is gone. Lenny Randall, switch hitting third baseman, will turn to the left-hander's batter's box. The pitch from Christensen to Randall is a 51. A 51 to Randall is a 14. That will be a walk. As Christensen is not a double ZZ. Uh, nope, doesn't matter. Even on the first column, you have to be a double ZZ pitcher. So that's a walk. The speedy Randall is on at first with one out. Stepping to the plate, right-handed batting catcher, John Stearns. One out, one on. Christensen nods his head. Pitch homer bound to John Stearns. It's a 52. How do you do? Runner at first with a 52 is a 27. That will be... Is he an ex-pitcher? No. It's going to be a fielder's choice as Randall goes in hard. Up ending Bud Harrelson, the second baseman, breaking up the double play. So Randall is out on the fielder's choice. Schmid to Harrelson, five to four. Stearns takes Randall's place at first. Two outs. Stearns is a normal runner. Willie Martinez had a ribby in the first game. Can he do it again? The pitch to Willie Martinez. That's a 15. Two outs. Stearns will be off on contact. 15 is a 10. A 10 fielding column. One. So a 10 is going to be... Christensen is a B-grade pitcher. And a 10 is a single to left, runner to third, and Montanez steals second base on the 0-1 count. So the Mets trying to rally here with two outs. Stearns at third, Montanez singles, and then steals second. So it's second and third for Steve Henderson, the DH. We switch charts as Uncle Dave Gardner has joined us and says, let's go Buffalo. <laughs> Jim L says he's doing great. Hope everyone else is doing well too. Well, that's very kind of you, Jim L. Second and third, two outs. Boone has a quick word with Christensen. Now back behind the plate. Mets trying to score early once again. The pitch to the right hand batting designated hitter, Steve Henderson. It's a 46 to Steve Henderson. A 46 is a 13. And let's just double check a column. Fooled badly on the breaking pitch. Strike three. Could not make contact. On the curve, was way out in front of it. The Mets strand two. We go to the bottom of the first, no score. Mets had an opportunity, could not cash it in. For the Phillies, it will be McBride, Bo, and Schmidt to face the lefty, Jerry Kuzman. Kuzman, a veteran of two World Series teams, 1969-1973. Craig Swan looking on from the dugout. He knows if it goes to five games, he will pitch game five once again against Steve Carlton. The Mets don't want it to go five. Jerry Kuzman hoping to go two up as the Mets will then travel for game three back to Shea. Kuzman to face Shake Bake McBride. Will he bake and shake the pitch to the right hand batting to the left hand batting McBride in a lefty lefty matchup? That's a 55 for McBride. And Kuzma is a C-grade pitcher. 55 is an 8 
I believe that will be a base hit. Yes, it is. The C grade takes away the nine, but not the hit. It's a single chop pass Kuzman into center field. So shake, bake McBride, a speedy runner at first. Philly trying to jump out to an early lead. McBride at first. Larry Boa steps to the plate. He's going to swing the stick. The pitch to Boa. That's a 14 to Larry Boa. Runner at first. 14 is a 30. That's going to be an out. On fielding column two. Shallow fly ball to left. Coming in is Elliot Maddox. He makes the catch. McBride retreats to first. So one out, one on. No score. Bottom of the first. Mets lead the series. Best of five. Who will advance in the Double Day Cup? Mets won game one, three to two. Michael Jack Schmidt steps to the plate. Power hitting right-handed third baseman. Kuzman's ready. Peaks to first. Now looks in at Stearns. The pitch to Schmidt. 34 to Michael Jack Schmidt. Is a 31 with a runner at first. Fly ball hit well to center, but not well enough. Mazzilli makes the catch once again. McBride retreats to first. So there are two down. McBride will be off on contact. Greg Lazinski, the bull, steps to the plate. Cleanup hitter, designated hitter. Right-handed power bat. Kuzman to Lazinski. 21 to the bull, Lazinski. A 21's a 13. Swing and a miss. Oh, my Lord. He took a mighty cut at an off-speed pitch. Side is retired. We go to the top of the second. No score here at the Vet in Philadelphia. Due up for the Mets, Maddox, that's Elliot Maddox, Bruce Beauclair, Tim Foley. If anyone gets on the number nine batter, Doug Flynn. So Kuzman matches the Christensen goose egg. Will we have another pitcher's duel here at the Vet? on this horrible AstroTurf. Christensen comes back out on the mound, done with his warm-up tosses. Boone chats a quick word of encouragement. Now back behind the plate. Elliot Maddox steps into the right-hander's batter's box. Christensen's ready to work. He rocks and deals to Elliot Maddox. It's a 64 to Elliot Maddox. 64 bases empty is a 13 he goes down looking. Christensen has now struck out two Mets in a row. To end the first, he got Henderson. Maddox didn't like the call. Inside corner. Rock and Rollers joined us. How you doing? Rocker Roller, excuse me. Bruce Beauclair with one out steps to the plate into the left-hander's batter's box. Christensen's ready. The dealing to Beauclair. It is a 62 to Bruce Bo Beauclair. A 62, how do you do? Is a 33 bases empty. Beauclair swings the stick on a 33 fielding column one. Popped up right side. Wide pitcher gets a strikeout. So giving chase is Harrelson. He will not get there. Christensen comes back on the very next pitch and strikes out. Yep, wide pitcher gets a strikeout. Beauclair. Christensen has now struck out three Mets in a row. Two outs here in the top of the second. Derek Rao has joined us. Or Ra. He says, howdy, Al. Hope you're good. I'm good. Hope you're good, Derek. And we have Rock and Rocker Roller. Cutter Historicals joined us. Oh, no. He says, I'm in a foul mood. My beloved Kitchener Rangers got swept in the playoffs round two in the OHL. Sorry to hear that, my friend. Sorry. Dwayne Martz, how you doing? Dwayne Martz, YouTube network. Check out that channel and subscribe. He's playing uh, APA 1961. I think it's 61. And he uses digital, uh, digital diamond baseball as a helper. So that's pretty cool. Two outs for Tim Foley. Tim Foley was, um, oh, you're doing 1978 now? 
Oh, yes, yes, Ron Guidry. You're right. You're right. It's 1978. I forgot. I apologize. It is 78. Tim Foley steps to the plate. Foley had a miserable game one in the field and at the plate. The pitch to Crazy Horse Foley from Larry Christensen. LC deals Crazy Horse a 26, a 26. Swing and a miss. Larry Christensen is dealing tied up Foley high and tight. Christensen has struck out four Mets. Henderson to end the first, and then in the second, Maddox, Beauclair, and Foley. We go to the bottom of the second. No score here at the vet. Mets lead the series 1-0 in the best of five. Winner advances in the National League East region of the Double Day Cup. Tremendous inning for the man they call LC, Larry Christensen. Foley's day of misery has translated over to the second game. Uncle Dave Gardner says, I used to listen to the K Rangers on AM radio as a kid. Kuzman on the mound to start the bottom of the second. He will face Maddox. That's Gary Maddox. Jerry the Mud Martin. And Bobby Boone. Here's the pitch. To the right hand batting, Gary Maddox from the left hand hurling, Jerry Kuzma. 62 to Maddox. A 62 with the bases empty is a 30. Fielding column two. Driven to the left center field gap on his horse. Making the catch is Elliot Maddox. So from one Maddox, Gary, to the other, Elliot. And that's out number one. Nice running catch to left center by Elliot Maddox. Jerry Mud Martin now steps to the plate. The pitch to the right hand batting Mud Martin from Kuzman. It's a 45 to Martin. That is a 14. That will be a walk. As Kuzman is a Z pitcher, but not a double Z Z pitcher. So one out, one on. Martin is a fast runner at first. He could possibly score from first with a shot to the gap. Doug Hunt has joined us. Hope all is well, Doug. Mets look to turn two off the bat of Bobby Boone. The pitch to Boone with a runner at first and one out. It is a 24 to Bob Boone from Jerry Kuzman. 24 is a 13. Swing and a miss on a nasty breaking pitch by Kuzman. Boy, did he break off that curve. Kuzman's now struck out two. There are two outs here. In the bottom of the second, Martin will be off on contact. The number eight batter getting his first start of the series, first baseman Jim Morrison. Morrison hoping to grip and rip from the right-hander's batter's box. Kuzman has a sign from Stearns. The pitch to Morrison. It's a 35 for Morrison. That is a 13. The only thing he gripped and ripped was the wind. Swing and a miss at a curveball. Kuzman is now struck out three. We go to the top of the third. Scoreless at the vet. Mets lead the series 1-0. They took game one, 3-2. As Craig Swan outdueled the lefty Steve Carlton. Due up for the Mets. Number nine, Doug Flynn. Then Lee Mazzilli. Lenny Randall. So Larry Christensen steps back up on the bump. He struck out four Mets, and it's been all in a row. Will that strikeout streak continue? We shall find out in a moment. Mark Jones, how are you doing? He says, Philadelphia Freedom. RJL Network, our good friend Rob John Stearns, underrated Mets catcher. Oh, John Stearns was very good. Played on bad teams. Mets had some talent. They just didn't put it together with those teams. And then he got hurt. Geez, he got hurt in the early 80s. He was a, he was an excellent catcher. Yep, Mark Jones is right. For a catcher, Stearns could run. Doug Hunt says, just finished my APA 1984 game between the Phillies and Cubs. Phillies won 9-7. Thank you for sharing. Who are the winning pitchers? Who is the winning pitcher and the losing pitcher, uh, Doug? 
The pitch to Doug Flynn from Larry Christensen. It's a 44 for Flynn. Remember, Christensen's a B-grade pitcher. He has the B-grade voodoo to take away, I believe it's the 8. So the 44 by Flynn is an 8. And that will be, as we will check out the B-voodoo, that is an out. Well hit to center field. Doug Flynn gives it a ride, but racing back, making the catch, is Gary Maddox. You can see the 8. Under the B-grade pitcher, it's voodoo time taking away the eight. Flynn, 0 for 1. Top of the order, Lee Mazzilli. He grounded to Larry Boa at short from one Paisano to the other. Christensen works quickly to Mazzilli. Mazzilli with double ones. It's a zero. It's a re-roll on the D column. Mazzilli would love to get an 11 or a 66. He gets a 33. Mazzilli with a 33. It is gone. Lee Mazzilli jacks it out to right. It is gone, baby, gone. The switch hitting Mazzilli goes kaboom to the moon. Boom goes the ball, and the Metropolitan's favorite paisano, Lee Mazzilli, touches them all. That is amore. Like when the moon hits your eye like a big pizza pie. Lee Mazzilli goes bippity boppity boom, baby, boom. To the moon, Alice, to the moon, or as they say, to the moon, Angelina, to the moon. One nothing, Mets. So a home run for Mazzilli. The Mets strike first once again. And it starts with one out in the top of the third. Mazzilli goes yard off Christensen. Lenny Randall steps to the plate. Can he keep this little rally going for the Metropolitans? RJL Network sure hopes so. The pitch to Lenny Randall. Another switch hitter batting lefty. That's a 24 for Lenny. A 24 for Lenny Randall. Base is empty. Oh, he tried to go back-to-back. -back. Jack swing and a miss. Chase the high heat outside. Christensen has now struck out five. Still disgusted with himself, giving up a bomb to right field. one nothing Mets. Mazzilli being congratulated in the dugout. Two outs, base is empty for the Metropolitan catcher, John Stearns. Stearns reached on a fielder's choice. Would get to third, but no more in the first. The pitch to John Stearns from LC Larry Christensen. That is a 34 to John Stearns. A 34 is a 31. Stearns fly ball. That is going back, 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 back to the track at the wall. Leaping up. Gary Maddox makes the catch. Robbing Stearns of a, a possible homer, but definitely extra bases. Another fine catch in center by Gary Maddox. The Mets do strike first on the one-out homer by Mazzilli. We go to the bottom of the third, 1-0. 78 Mets. Round one, National League East Region Double Day Cup. We'll have a unique thing when we cut it to three teams in the East. It will go to a triple elimination, or possibly double elimination, to see who will advance out of that. Or we might just play a best two out of three, whichever the three teams that survive. I'm, I'm figuring it out. It's the double day cup. You, you do it as you go along. All right. Oh, so that retires the Mets as I almost fumble the pencil. Do up for the Phillies, trailing by one, the number nine batter, former Met, Bud Harrelson. Then the top of the order, McBride and Boa to face Kuzman. Kuzman struck out three. As we stated, Christensen has struck out five. Max Cornelius has joined us, Hope Ball, as well, as he says, hello, Al, and FOC. Cutter Historical says, Lee Mazzilli was acquired by the Jays for the 1989 stretch drive. Mazzilli was a solid player. I think after the Mets, he went to the Rangers. Then back, he might even played briefly with the Yankees and then back to the Mets in 86. 
He got the pinch hit to start off that wonderful game six rally. I remember when Mazzilli got the hit. I've told it before in chats with Al and other things. I was like, well, it's, I'm okay with that. I didn't, I didn't want to see Mazzilli make the last out. I wish he made the last out now. Kuzman against his former teammate Bud Harrelson, switch hitter, batting lefty, uh, righty, excuse me. The pitch to Bud, he almost rolls double. It's a 65 to Harrelson, base is empty. 65 is a 35. Harrelson pops it up. Wide pitcher gets a strikeout. Giving chase is a shortstop Foley. He won't get there. It's a foul ball. Then Harrelson strikes out looking as Kuzman paints the outside corner. Kuzman has now struck out four, and now Kuzman has struck out three Phillies in a row. Boone, Morrison, and Bud Harrelson. We have one out in the bottom of the third. We go to the top of the order. Shake, bake, McBride, single. He's one for one. Kuzman to McBride. It's a 55 for Shake, bake, McBride. Kuzman is a C-grade pitcher. His voodoo takes away... The nine. 55 is an eight. That's going to be a base hit. Up the middle. Shake, bake, McBride is two for two. McBride is speedy runner at first, a dangerous runner at first. Let's double check to make sure nothing happens there. Nope, no steal. He's the tying run at first base. Go ahead, run at the plate in Larry Boa. Runner at first. It's going to be tough to turn two here. Two fast runners. Boa awaits the Kuzman offering. Boa switch hitter, batting righty. The pitch from Kuzman to Boa. It's a 44. 44 is a seven. And on a seven, C grade, single to center. Runner to third. Fast runner takes second on a throw. Boa is a fast runner. So here come the Phillies. Excellent base running by Philadelphia. They probably should have just thrown to the cutoff man and kept the double play in order. But Mazzilli was a little too over-exuberant there, thinking he could throw out the speedy shake-bake McBride. Instead, it is second and third one out now. The Phillies are threatening. Stearns goes out to have a word with Kuzman. Sets the defense. Now back behind the plate. Mets will play for the out, give up the run. We have second and third. We will use the second and third chart. We'll put it right here. Michael Jack Schmidt looking to give the Phillies the lead. Mets up 1-0. It is a precarious one-run lead now. The pitch to Schmidt from Kuzman. 45 to Schmidt. 45 is a possible walk. 14. It is a walk. Bases are juiced. Kuzman is definitely in trouble here. Mets will play for two to try to get out of this mess. Lazinski steps to the plate. He has struck out his first time up. No place to put the bull, Greg Lazinski. Once again, Stearns goes out to have a word with the veteran, Jerry Kuzman. Bases are juiced. Use the bases full. Flip the chart. Kuzman takes a deep breath. He's ready. He rocks and deals to Lazinski. It's a 33 for Lazinski, and that is a 5 on a C grade. Doubles to right field, three runs scored, slow runner on first, out at home. Who is the runner at first? The runner at first is Schmidt. He's not a slow runner. He's a fast runner. Three runs score on the double by Greg Lazinski. He has broken out, and in a big way, the Phillies take a 3-1 lead. Let's double-check that again. That's a 33. That's a 5. Kuzman is a C-grade pitcher. It's a double to right field. Three-run score. Unless it's a slow runner on first, he would have been thrown out at the plate. But he's, as I said, Schmidt is a fast runner. So 3-1 Phillies. And Lazinski stands at second. With three batted in. 
McBride scores from third, Boer from second, and all the way from first, the man who got the free pass, Michael Jack Schmidt. Phillies have their first lead of the series. Still only one out. Neither of these pitchers have to worry about getting a great advancement. They've given up runs. The pitch to Maddox trying to increase the Phillies lead. That's us. So we have a runner at second. We got to switch that out. Runner at second chart. 61 to Maddox. A 61 is a 40. Runner at second. A 40 lofted to right field. Making the catch is Beauclair. Tagging up. What the hell is he thinking? Greg Lazinski, he's a slow runner. Beauclair unleashes a beautiful toss to third, making the tag is Lenny Randall. The side is retired. So here it is, lofted to right field. Beauclair coming in. Slow runner out at third, nine to five. It is a double play, but the Met, the Mets, the Phillies here in the Vets score three. We go to the top of the fourth, Philadelphia three. New York won. What a horrible piece of base running by the bull Greg Lazinski. He goes from a hero to a mini goat now, in a way. Taking the Phillies out of what possibly could have been a huge inning. They did get three, but they could have got more. So that is a 9-5 double play. Top of four, Mets trail for the first time in this series. It'll be Montanez, Henderson, Elliott Maddox. Philip Reynolds said, go Mets. How you doing, Philip? Brian Hoxie has joined us. Hope all is well, Brian. So some questionable base running. What is your good news, Philip? I believe you're getting, I believe it has something to do with your relationship, I think, correct? All righty. Willie Montanez singled, stole second, but he would go no further. Christensen to Montanez to lead off the top of the fourth. Phillies lead 3 1. Montanez with a 66. You can kiss that one goodbye. Willie Montanez crushes that ball to center. It is three to two. How do you do? Willie Montanez jumping all over the first pitch strike fastball. Bippity boppity boom to the moon. Boom goes the ball. And Montanez touches them all to the moon. Alice to the moon. So the Mets have hit two homers. Mazzilli in the third and Martinez here in the fourth to cut the Phillies lead to one. 3-2 Philadelphia. Fans here at the Vet cannot believe it. Martinez getting a bunch of high fives in the dugout. Oh my lord, he was sitting dead red on that first pitch fastball. Christensen was trying to get out ahead of Montanez, and Montanez knocked it out of the ballpark. Well, congratulations, Philip. Good to hear that, my friend. Still no outs. Henderson looks to go back-to-back. -back. Jackson tying it. Christensen to Henderson. It is a 53. What will it be? We shall see. A 53 is a 16. That is a very unique number. A 16. Lucky they are in the A column. Balls hit to center. Ooh. Base is empty. Base is empty. Hold on. That is a 16. Sinking line drive. Coming in. Making the sliding catch is Gary Maddox. Another fine play by the Philadelphia Philly center fielder Gary Maddox. One down. Fans cheer for that. Henderson robbed of at least a single or more. So now Gary Maddox goes back to his position, stepping to the plate. No relations, I don't think. Elliot Maddox. Elliot was a strikeout victim. Christensen has struck out. One, two, three, four, five. 
Will he get Elliot Maddox once again? Boone sets the target. Christensen racks and deals to Elliot Maddox. It is a 21. A 21 is a 30. Maddox will swing the stick. That's a fly ball deep to left center field. On his horse is Jerry Mud Martin. He calls off Gary Maddox. He makes the catch. Two down. 3-2 lead for the Phillies. Another close game. That will bring up the left-hand batting right fielder for the Metropolitans, Bruce Bo Beauclair. 0 for 1 with a strikeout. The pitch to Beauclair, Christensen, trying to go 1-2-3 after giving up the first pitch homer to Montanez to start off the fourth. That is a 45 to Beauclair. 45 is a 14. That will be a walk. Christensen is not a double ZZ pitcher. Inning stays alive for crazy horse Tim Foley. Beauclair is a fast runner. Foley will try to find a gap. Christensen takes a deep breath. He's ready. Pitch homer bound to Foley. It is a 32. How do you do? 32 is a 26 runner at first. That should end the inning. A 26 off the A column. Hard hit ball to second. Harrison ranging towards the second base bag will take the easy out as he flips to his partner in crime up the middle. Larry Boa, side is retired. Foley uh, hits into a force out, which is five to four. Beauclair is forced out. We go to the bottom of the fourth. Mets get another digit with a solo blast by Montanez. 3-2 Philadelphia. For Philadelphia in the bottom of the fourth, Martin Boone Morrison to face Jerry Kuzman. Kuzman has to put up a goose egg here, folks. Mets trail by one. The Mets have shown surprisingly good power. Martin walked his first time up. Kuzman to Mud Martin. It's a 35 to Jerry Martin. Base is empty. 35 to Martin is a 14. Martin walks for a second time. Martin, an excellent base runner. He has speed. Messed up that walk there. There we go. So Martin reaches again on the free pass. RJL Network says Kuzman was 3-15 in 1978, but his ERA wasn't bad, though, 3.75. No, the pitching's not bad for the Mets. The hitting was atrocious. That brings up Bob Boone, runner at first. He was a strikeout victim of the lefty Kuzman. Mets look to play for two in the infield. The pitch to Bobby Boone, it's a 25 with a runner at first. 25 off the fielding column two. It's a double play ball, hard hit ball to second. It's going to be Flynn Foley back on to Montanez. Four, six, three, just what the good Dr. Jerry Kuzman in the Mets wanted. Two down, base is empty here in the bottom of the fourth. Three, two, Philly. So four, six, three. Boa's now 0 for two, a strikeout and banging in to the soul crushing. Double play, as our good friend Kurt Berglund would say. First baseman, right-hand batting, Jim Morrison steps to the plate. 0 for 1 with a strikeout. He's got some pop. Kuzman has a sign from Stearns. He kicks and deals to Morrison. It is a 15 to Jimmy. 15 to Jim Morrison's a 36, a 36. Curveball. Uh, hold on. Base is empty. Excuse me. Go to the base is empty. That's high ball one. So a 1 0 count. As Kuzman looks to, uh, it looked like he tried to brush Morrison off the plate. Morrison glares at Kuzman. Morrison steps back in the right hander's batter's box. Pitch homeward bound again to Kuzman from Kuzman to Morrison. 46, a 46 27. Morrison swings the stick on the fielding column two, rips a shot down the third base line, diving stop by Lenny Randall. As cool as a cucumber pops up 
throws a strike to Martinez. The side is retired. Morrison was robbed of extra bases. So a double play and a fantastic play by the third baseman, Lenny Randall, ends the fourth for Philadelphia. We go to the top of the fifth, 3-2 Philadelphia. Due up for the Metropolitans, Flynn in the top of the order, Mazzilli and Randall, who just made that fabulous play. So Kuzman puts up the goose egg after giving up three in the prior inning, the third. Mets down one, number nine batter. Doug Flynn flew out to center. He, he hit the ball quite well. Maddox had to go a long way and have a great jump on it to make the catch. The pitch to Flynn from Christensen. It's a 63 to Dougie Flynn, former Cincinnati Red. Came over in the Tom Seaver trade. So a 64 is a 13. That's a swing and a miss. Strikeout. Christensen picks up his sixth strikeout. Flynn is 0 for 2. Lee Mazzilli's one for two. He's homered and grounded to short. Christensen quickly to the switch hitting Mazzilli, who's batting lefty. It's a 22 for Lee Mazzilli. 22 is an eight. That is an out. The B Voodoo will take care of that. B Voodoo on the eight. Mazzilli had a chance to grip and rip. Over anxious on a flat slider. Pops it up. Left side. Waiting for it is Michael Jack Schmidt. Mazzilli is retired. There are two outs now in the top of the fifth. Mazzilli knows he missed one. That will bring up Lenny Randall. Randall has walked and struck out. Two outs, base is empty. Randall, left-handed batter. Switch hitter, he's batting lefty. Christensen has a sign from Boone. Boone sets a target. The pitch to the Mets third baseman, Lenny Randall. 46 to Lenny Randall. A 46 is a 32. Randall makes contact. That is a fly ball deep to center field, but not deep enough. Calling off uh, the right fielder as it starts to drift to the right is Gary Maddox. He makes the catch. The side is retired. We go to the bottom of the fifth, 3 2 Philadelphia. Best of five, National League East region, round one, double day cup. Mets took game one. Philadelphia trying to tie the series before going back to Shea in New York. For the Phillies, it will be Harrelson, then the top of the Philadelphia order, McBride and Boa. To face Kuzman. Kuzman had one bad inning the third. Bases loaded. Lazinski doubled in all three runs, clearing the bags. But then, inexplicably, was thrown out trying to tag up on a ball hit to right. Pretty much not that. I wouldn't say it was shallow, but it wasn't deep. And Beauclair uncorked a perfect throw, gunning out Lazinski by three feet. Bud Harrelson's 0 for 1. He, he struck out. Switch hitter batting righty against the left-handed hurling veteran for the Mets, Jerry Kuzman. Kuzman to the former Metropolitan and teammate, Bud Harrelson. That's a 53 to Buddy. 53 to Bud Harrelson is an 18. That is a interesting role. An 18 is going to be an error on guess who? Tim Foley at short as he throws low. Montanez cannot handle the throw but keeps it in front of him. Third error of the series on Foley, and he might get benched for game three. So Harrelson reaches on the E6. He, big insurance run at first. We go to the top of the order, shake, fake, McBride. They're not going to bunt. McBride will swing the stick. He has two singles. He scored a run. He was on base when Lazinski cleared the bases with that double in the third. Runner at first. Mets will try to turn two. It'll be difficult. Speed at the plate. Speed at first. The pitch to McBride. Will he shake and bake McBride with a 66? Reroll on the D column. 
That's a 24. 24 is a 6. And that's going to be a double. Fast runner scores with under two outs. Harrelson will score all the way from first. So the error by Foley hurts like a kick in the groin. It's now 4-2. to two. Philadelphia. The Phillies get one back. Shake Bake McBride is three for three. Two singles, a run scored. Now a double and a run batted in for the Philadelphia right fielder. Kuzman gives up one more run, and he goes to D grade. The Mets bullpen has been loosening. So McBride at second. It's four to two. Larry Boa at the plate. Still no outs. Boa, let's think about this. As there's no real bunt rating. Boa's going to swing the stick. He's going to swing the stick. We're not bunting. Runner at second. No outs. 4-2. That's not the right chart. Runner at second. That is the right chart. I thought about sacrificing, but the pitch to Boa, 52. Did we make the right call? 52 is a 27. No, we didn't. No, we didn't. A 27. A wide pitcher gets a strikeout. Kuzman's a wide pitcher. Boa chases a high breaking pitch away, swing and a miss. Kuzman has now struck out five. One out, runner at second, 4 2 Phillies. They're looking to add to that lead. Michael Jack Schmidt steps to the plate. Lazinski on deck. You're not going to walk Schmidt to get the Lazinski. The pitch to Michael Jack Schmidt from Jerry Kuzman's a 62. A 62 is a 13 swing and a miss. So Kuzman coming back strong. He went fastball high and away, and Schmidt chased. Kuzman now has six strikeouts, two outs. McBride will be off on contact. Greg Lazinski doubled in his first, I'm sorry, he doubled in his last plate appearance. Prior to that, he struck out. He's one for two. The double was with bases loaded, and he cleared the bases. He has three ribbies. Kuzman to the bull. Lazinski is a 45. A 45 is a walk. Let's double check that. He just misses the outside corner on the 3 2 pitch. Free pass for Lazinski. So it's first and second now, two outs. Gary Maddox, who's been outstanding in center, steps to the plate. Maddox, not so good at the plate. He's flown out to the left and banged into a, well, a fly ball double play, which with, with some shoddy base running. By Lazinski, he was thrown out by Beauclair. Beauclair made the catch in about mid-right field and uncorked a strike to Randall to nail Lazinski, ending the uprising in the bottom of the third. Here's the pitch to Gary Lee Maddox. Two outs, two on, first and second. It is a 63 to Maddox. A 63 to Maddox is a 33. A 33 fielding column two. Jammed and popped up left side. Foley on the outfield grass, spinning, turning, falling down, and he makes the catch. Holy cow. Tim Foley really has lost his confidence at short, but he does make the catch falling down, uh, not on the grass, on the turf, excuse me. The side is retired. The Foley era Aids the Phillies to get another run. We go to the top of the six. Philadelphia four. The New York Mets two. Maddox is 0 for 3. Kuzman gives up one more run. He drops to a D grade. And he will be pulled. Uh, 
after five earned runs scored. Well, that wouldn't really be five earned runs, but we're going to say it's five runs, just five runs, <clears throat> because that run should not have scored. He should not have been on. So he's really only given up three earned runs, so he's got to give up two more earned runs, I guess. <clears throat> Here comes Christensen on the bump, top of the six, trying to protect a two-run lead. Philadelphia two. New York Mets, I'm sorry, Philadelphia 4, New York Mets 2. John Stearns will be followed by Montanez and Henderson. Stearns is 0 for 2. The pitch to the right-hand batting catcher for the Mets, John Stearns. That's a 52, and we go to the bases empty chart. A 52 to Stearns is a 27. That will be out number 1. Stearns makes contact, fielding column one. Wonderful uh, X pitcher. Nope, Christians is not an X pitcher. So Stearns fouls one down the third baseline, then rips a shot, neatly backhanded by Schmidt. Conley throws to first and Morrison. Stearns is out five to three. He's now 0 for three. One out for the Mets in the top of the six. They trail by two, four to two. They. So let's see what the Mets can do. Here's Willie Montanez. He's two for two. He's singled and homered. Homered in his last at-bat. At that time, cut the Phillies' lead to one. Since then, as we know, Phillies got one more back in the fifth. Two-run lead for Philadelphia. The pitch to Willie Montanez, a 36 dealt by Larry Christensen. 36 to Montanez is a 12. A hard one-hop shot to Morrison. He snares it, takes it to the bag himself, retiring his counterpart, Montanez, and there are two down. That's a ground out three. Two outs, base is empty for Steve Henderson. The pitch to the man they call Stevie Wonder, a 21 to Henderson from Christensen. 21 is a 13, swing and a miss. Second time Henderson's gone down via K. Christensen ends the top of the sixth in style with a big swing and miss, sending Henderson muttering to himself back to the bench. Christensen now has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven strikeouts for Christensen. Four, two. Phillies, bottom of six. The Phillies will send up Martin, Boone, and Morrison. <clears throat> Excuse me. <clears throat> Kuzman's given up four runs, three of them earned, two more earned runs, and he drops to a D grade. Again, our the Mets bullpen is not bueno, but if you have to go to it, you have to go to it. <clears throat> Drink a little bit of water. Allergies are killing me. <clears throat> Martin, no official at-bats. He's walked twice. Kuzmin to Mud Martin. It's a 51 to Mud. A 51 to Mud Martin is a 9. C grade, 9. No, that's going to be a base hit to left. Wait a second. No, I made a mistake. That's an out. I looked at the 10 by accident. That's a pop-up. My faux pas, so the ball to left was deemed foul as it did not hit the trunk. Then Mud Martin pops it up to Lenny Randall. The Mets third baseman makes the catch. So the C pitcher has nine voodoo, you can see. That's one down. Mets fans... Breathe a sigh of relief. Bob Boone, the Phillies catcher, strides to the right-hander's batter's box. Booney is 0 for 2. Strikeout and a double play, 4-6-3. The pitch to Bob Boone from Jerry Kuzman. 24 to the right-hand batting Boone. 24. Swing and a miss. Kuzman gets him with a nasty breaking pitch down and in. Second time Boone has fan. Kuzman has struck out seven now. 
That matches Christensen. Two down in the bottom of the six. 4-2 Phillies. Jim Morrison steps to the plate. He's 0-2. for two, A strikeout and a ground out. Kuzman kicks and deals to Morrison. It's a 63. What will it be? We shall see. 63 is a 33. That's going to end the inning. Fielding column two. Kuzman with a strikeout. As a wide pitcher gets a strikeout. Otherwise, it would have been a pop-out. Another swing and a miss at a nasty curveball in the dirt. Stearns tags Morrison to complete the K. Kuzman's now struck out eight. We go to the top of the seventh. Four, two, Phillies. Phillies want to tie this series at one in the best of five in the Double Day Cup, 1978, East Region. I mean, Mets fans might say, we got the split, but don't you want to take two? The Mets will have the advantage in pitching in the next two games. That is for sure if they drop this game. Christensen will deal with Elliot Maddox, Bruce Beauclair, and Tim Foley, who's on the verge of being benched. The pitch to Elliot Maddox, 0 for 2. Maddox with a 66. It's a re-roll. He wants a 11 or 66, and he's going to get a 21 on the re-roll. It's a six, and that's a double. A double to left center field. Maddox goes in standing. Here come the Mets. Something going here. Maddox just missed a homer by a foot. So the speedy Elliott Maddox at second, no outs. Mark Jones says, I believe he's talking about Jerry Kuzman. Look at all the innings he pitched during his career between 68 and 84. It was incredible. Doug Hunt, Kuzman pitched on the 84 Phillies in my game. Oh, very interesting. Bruce Beauclair steps to the plate. Beauclair is 0 for 1. He's walked and struck out. Do we want to bunt? Foley's coming up. Beauclair is going to swing the stick. The pitch... The left-hand batting Beauclair from Larry Christensen, man at second. 63 to Bruce Beauclair is a 33. A 33 X-pitcher gets a strikeout. Christensen's not an X-pitcher. It's going to be a pop-up to short. On the outfield turf is Boa. He makes the catch. One down. Tim Foley looking to make amends for his horrible fielding and pathetic hitting so far in this series. Lead off double by Maddox. He just missed a homer by a foot. He's still standing at second with one out. Foley steps into the right-hander's batter's box, hoping, praying, wishing, wanting the pitch from Christensen. Oh, he just missed the 66. It's a 56. A 56 is a swing and a miss. Let's double check that. Yes, it is. Christensen gets Foley for a second time. I believe that is now eight Ks. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight Ks for Christensen. Two outs, and it's up to Doug Flynn, who's old for two. He has flown to center and struck out. That leadoff double could go for not by Elliot Maddox. Mets down by two here in the top of the seven. Maddox, a speedy runner, will be off on contact. The pitch to Doug Flynn. It's a 36 from Christensen. 36 to Doug Flynn is a 12. That's interesting. A 12, well, not interesting enough. Swing and a miss. Blows a fastball by him. Nine Ks for Christensen. The leadoff double goes for not. And to be honest with you, even if we bunted, you got strikeout, strikeout. He's not scoring from third. Mets squander a golden opportunity there. We go to the bottom of the seventh, 4-2 Phillies. Phillies six outs away from tying the series and going to Shea 1-1. Phillies have some 
Arms warming up in the bullpen. For Philadelphia trying to lengthen that two-run lead, it will be Harrelson, the number nine batter. Then the top of the order, McBride and Boa to face Kuzman. Kuzman has been good, but not great. He's given up four earned runs. Uh, three earned runs, I'm sorry. Four runs in total. So here's Kuzman. Still a C grade. Mike Terranova has joined us. Hope all is well. Check out that wonderful channel and subscribe. Mike Terranova. In the chat, trivia question. Trivia question. What is Mike Terranova's favorite baseball team? What is Mike Terranova's favorite baseball team? Think about that. Answer. All right, here we go. Kuzman to his former teammate, Bud Harrelson. It is a 31 to Bud Harrelson. Switch hitter batting righty. 31 to Bud Harrelson. Base is empty. That's a walk. That's a 14. Skip Lockwood is ready in the Mets bullpen. So with that walk, you put a speedy runner at first. Harrelson scored in his last at-bat when Foley booted the ball. Uh, he threw low, and then McBride doubled. <clears throat> Doug Hunt has answered correctly, so has Cutter Historical. Uh, Mets and Mets. Very good. That was a tough question, and you guys hit it out of the ballpark. The pitcher, Shake Bake McBride, runner at first. It's a 62 to Shake Bake McBride. That's a 32 runner at first. 32, fielding column two, fly ball to right. Beauclair comes in, makes the catch, retreating back to first is Bud Harrelson. That's the first time McBride has been retired. He is now three for four. So one out, one on. This would probably be Kuzman's last inning. Bottom of the seventh. Take me out to the ball game. Take me out to the crowd. Buy me some peanuts and Cracker Jacks. I don't care. If I ever go back for its root, root, root for your home team. If they lose, it's a shame. For it's one, two, three strikes, you're out at the old ball game. Here's the pitch to Larry Boa. Runner at first, one out. That's a 14 to Boa. That's a 30. Boa will fly out to left. Making the catch is Elliot Maddox. Two down. So after the walk, two fly ball outs. But now Kuzman has to face the dangerous Michael Jack Schmidt. And that is going to be it for Jerry Kuzman. The Mets will go righty-righty. And that will make our reliever, Skip Lockwood, just for Michael Jack Schmidt. He will be an A-grade pitcher. So Kuzman is done. He'll get a no decision. Gave up three earned runs, four in total. He is responsible for Bud Harrelson at first. So Lockwood comes in. It's a righty-righty matchup. He becomes an A grade just for this one batter. Okay. And he's a one, so the fielding stays at 38. Doesn't matter. And it's going to be Lockwood. He's a C pitcher, but it'll be an A as he's coming in in the middle of an inning. And it's a righty-righty matchup. And he has an... X and a Z modifier. So he has pretty good control and he strikes out some pitchers, some batters, excuse me. All right. It's an A matchup here. Runner at first. 
two outs. Lockwood's done with his warm-up tosses. Stearns has a word with him. Now back behind the plate. The speedy Harrelson will be off on contact. The pitch to Schmitty, Michael Jack Schmidt. It's a 53 from Lockwood. 53 to Schmidt is a 19. 19 fielding column two. It's going to be chopped to third. Randall coming in. My God, it's like a high punt. He fields it. No play. An infield hit for Schmidt. Advancing to second is Bud Harrelson. Is that chopped off the plate? Randall could have called for a fair catch. So that is an infield single. It's now first and second. Lockwood goes back to his C grade to face Greg Lazinski. I'm tempted to bring in another righty <laughs> to make him an A, but we're going to stick with Lockwood. Lazinski trying to put this game out of reach for the Mets. Lockwood to Lazinski, two outs, two on, four, two, Philadelphia, bottom of the seventh. Mets lead the best of five, 1 0. It is a 35. A 35 is a 14. And we have first and second. On a 14. Z pitcher. Yes, it's ball one. That could be good or that could be bad. 1-0. Again, Lockwood deals to Lazinski. It's a 54. A 54 is a 32. That's going to get him out of the inning. Fly ball to right. Coming in is Bruce Beauclair. He makes the catch. Lockwood gets the final out. On the bottom of the seventh, we go to the top of the eighth. 4-2 Phillies. Mets are still in range of winning this game. We need to do this, though. I forgot to do this. Let's put a star here. So Kuzman went... Six and two thirds. Gave up four runs, three earned. Kuzman struck out, what was it, eight? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Kuzman struck out eight. I like to keep tracks of strikeouts. Okay, and let's just write here Lockwood. Seventh. Do up for the Mets in the top of the eighth, the top of the order. Mazzilli, Randall, and Stearns. Do we stick with Larry Christensen? He is a B. I think we're going to turn it over to the pen, though. We have two A grade pitchers in the pen, an off day coming up, so they'll be all set. I think we will go. To the pen. Okay. Reed is an A grade XZ. Bruce Star is an A grade YZ. McGraw's a B grade. I think we're going to go with, uh, we're going to go with, uh, Warren Scott Brewstar. And then Reed will close it out. So Christensen pitched a hell of a game. Did give up two homers. One by Mazzilli in the third, then Montanez in the fourth. So he gave up two homers. Pitched seven innings. <clears throat> 
two runs. They were both earned. He struck out eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. No, he struck out nine. He'll give way to Brewstar, who's a one. That's going to reduce them to a 42. They're still fielding column one. Okay. I tell you, this app really works. I mean, I can see it, it's, again, I'm playing basic, but I'm enjoying it a lot. Will I ever play advanced? Probably not. I have strat for that. So he's an A grade, Y, and Z. We'll try to get three outs from Bruce Starr. <clears throat> Christensen is done. Uh, came in here. That is Skip Lockwood. Bruce Starr, eighth. All right. As Dave Gardner says, Appa Baseball, Appa Basic is great. It's wonderful. It absolutely is. The football, I just play the basic with that. I love calling my own plays. We had a hell of a game, and then we had the hiccup. It would have been in one serving Probably would have been just like two hours and 15 minutes, <clears throat> maybe two and a half, but we would have got the four drive challenge, which when we play it online, that's what we'll do for drive challenge. I think what a crazy ending in that Cleveland Browns, Pittsburgh Steeler game. I'm not going to spoil it in case you haven't seen it, but uh, what a crazy ending. It was fun. All right. Mazzilli is one for three. He's homered, grounded out, and popped out. Bruce Starr, the righty, to now the left-hand batting Mazzilli. The pitch to Mazzilli, 44. But that is going to be an out. As that's an eight, and he has a voodoo. <clears throat> Chopper to the mound. Bruce Starr has it. Flips to first, one down. <clears throat> Again, so you get the 44. It's an eight. Single digits are usually very good, right? But Bruce Starr is an A pitcher out of the pen. And you can see he takes away the seven and the eight, and the eight's a ground out to the pitcher, one three. This game is fabulous. It really is. That's why I keep buying seasons. One down, 4-2 Phillies. Phillies five outs away from tying the series, going back to Shea 1-1. One, one. Bruce Starr to the switch hitting. Now left-handed batting Lenny Randall. Randall with a 14. A 14 is a 30. Oh, you know what? That should have been base is empty. Doesn't matter. It's still an out for the other one. We're going to keep it the ground out to the pitcher. Doesn't matter. A little something different. So a 14 is a 30. That's going to be out number two, fielding column one. Deep to left center field. Once again, racing over is Maddox and Martin. And at the last second, Martin calls off Maddox. They nearly collide. A wry smile from Mud Martin to Maddox. Maddox doesn't seem amused with it, but he's happy that there are two outs now. So Randall gave it a ride. Two down, base is empty. Philadelphia four outs away from going to Shea, nodded at one. John Stearns, the catcher, 0 for 3. Bruce Starr kicks and deals to the right-hand batting. Stearns, 44. If it's an 8, it's an 8. We know it's an out. He jams and popped up left side. Schmidt waits for it to come down. He makes the catch. Stearns is 0 for 4. The Mets had opportunity. I mean, the rolls, that A grade is amazing. One, two, three, go the Mets. We go to the bottom of the eighth, four, two Phillies. Another wonderful game here in our first matchup of the Double Day Cup, 1978 National League East Region. Mets will have one last call.
for some alcohol because at two, you're through. Good night, RJL. Thank you for stopping by, my friend. Check out that wonderful channel and subscribe. So we're going to probably let Bruce Star pitch the ninth. He pitched a very clean eighth. Lockwood will pitch the bottom of the eighth for the Mets. He will face Gary Maddox, Martin, and Boone. Righty, righty matchup. Lockwood to Maddox. That is a re-roll. 44. It's gone. Gary Maddox makes it 5-3 Philadelphia. And now the Philly fans are getting that Philadelphia feeling. That is a bippity boppity boom to the moon. Jacked out to left. See ya. Wouldn't want to be ya. Boom goes the ball. Gary Maddox touches them all. 5-2 Philadelphia. To the moon, Alice. To the moon. So the Phillies get a homer. They're now up three. That could be a huge insurance run. Lockwood hangs his head in disgrace. Martin hopes to go back-to-back -back jacks. The wind-up in the pitch to Jerry Mud Martin. It's a 55 to Mud. That's an eight. He's only a C-grade pitcher. Base hit to center. Lockwood now on a very short leash. Bob Boone steps to the plate. Runner at first. Lockwood hopes for the double play ball off the bat of Booney. Stern sets the target. The pitch to his counterpart, Bob Boone. It's a 55. Doubles gone wild. 55 is an eight. We know that's a hit off the C grade. Single to center. Slow runner out at third. Martin is a fast runner. He slides in safely. Boone claps his hands at first. Runners on the corners, no out, and that's it for Skip Lockwood. What is my last name? I do not share that in public. <laughs> it's not even the last name that's on Facebook. <laughs> I do not share that in public. For fear of incriminating myself. First and third, no outs, a homer, a single, and another single. Lockwood is done. Mets go back to their bullpen. And it's going to be Dale Murray. He is a right-handed hurler to face the right-hand batting Jim Morrison. He's also a C grade, but he'll be an A against Morrison. The Mets, with first and third, no outs, will play. Uh, they're going to play in to try to cut the run out at the plate. First and third. So Skip Lockwood went a third of an inning, got him out of the jam in the prior inning, but he created his own jam here, gives up a homer, and is, is, and is responsible for both runners on. And we're going to go to Murray, and Murray is a one, so everything stays the same defensively. Murray's a C grade out of the pen and a Z modifier, so he has pretty good control. Infield in, 
We're looking for that strikeout against Morrison. It's, he's an A grade just for Morrison. Mor Morrison, it's a righty righty matchup. 45 to Jim Morrison. 45 is a 14. Unbelievable. That's a walk. He's not a double ZZ pitcher. Bases are jammed. He loses his A grade. The second goes Boone. No outs. Bases jammed. Infield in. Bud Harrelson steps to the plate. Harrelson has struck out, reached on a Foley error, and walked. They're going to let Harrelson swing. You know what? They are not going to let Harrelson swing the stick. They want to break this thing wide open. Richie Hebner out of Massachusetts, the gravedigger's son, will pinch it for Harrelson, and then Sizemore will come into play second. Richie Hebner to pinch it, Sizemore to come into play second. Okay, so let's put Sizemore here. And Richie Hebner to pinch hit, and he is a left-hander. Hebner, he pinched it in game one, didn't get a hit. And he's going to pinch hit in the eighth for Harrelson. And then Sizemore will come in. So Harrelson's out. Infield in. The Mets, we can use one of our crappy pitchers now. If he's a lefty, we need to find a lefty. Paul, Paul Siebert. Is this Sonny Siebert? Who pitched for the Red Sox? I think it is. He's a D grade, but he's a left-hander. Against a lefty, makes him an A. Okay. Got to do that. Got to try to keep it a 5-2 game. Second pitcher in the eighth. is Siebert. He's going to be a square. And his fielding is a one. Mets go to their fourth pitcher. I'm just curious if that's Sonny Siebert. And he's wild. Well, that's not good. He's a D grade, and he's wild. That is bad, but we want that A for the lefty-lefty matchup. Siebert to Richie Hebner. No place to put Richie infield in. That is a 13. Hebner, 13. How appropriate. It's a walk. It is a walk, 6-3, so Siebert poops himself. Hebner gets a ribby on the free pass. And it's 6-3 Philadelphia. Scoring from third is Martin. There are still no outs. Boone to third, Morrison to second, Hebner at first. Oh, my God. Top of the order, Shake Bake McBride. Siebert will face McBride, lefty, lefty, but he's a D grade. That's a 43. 
A 43 is a 29. Infield was not playing it anymore. 29. Or are they playing in? They're playing in. Why? Yeah. I mean, they would still play in, right? Now that's an out. Hard hit ball to Foley. He shuts his eyes. The ball's in his glove. He throws home. And that's out number one. So Boone is out. McBride reaches on the fielder's choice. Six to two. He's at first. Morris into third. Richie Hebner to second. Larry Boa comes to the plate. Infield back now to try to play for two. Siebert to Boa. That's a 31 to Boa. That's an eight. That's going to be a lot of runs. D grade pitcher. Two run single, slow runner out at third. Richie Hebner. Oh, we got to check Richie. I don't, is he, if he's a slow runner, he's out at third. He is out at third. Richie Hebner is out at third. Was Hebner at first? No, Hebner was not at first. It's Shake Bake McBride. He's safe at third. Two more runs scored. first and third. RBI single for Boa. This game has just gotten out of hand. It's gotten ugly. Three runs in. In the bottom of the eighth. It's now seven to two. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And it's first... Oh, no, another run. Hebner scores. He scores from second. Four runs in. It's eight to two, excuse me. Got to get the abacus out soon. Siebert poops himself. Boa gets a hit. Now we face Michael Jack Schmidt. Siebert's going to pitch to Schmidt, and we have first and third. And I have too many runners score. No, that's right. First and third. Boa first. McBride third. Pitch to Michael Jack Schmidt is a 23. That's a 30. Infield playing normal. First and third. 23. 30. The double play. No, it's not a double play. Again, I keep thinking it's it's a Heb Hebner at third. It's not. Uh, McBride scores on the sacrifice. Another run. That's five runs in the eighth. Sack fly. Uh, what was that? To left? To deep left? So Schmid, sack seven, batted in. McBride scores. It's now nine to two. Philadelphia just breaks it wide open in the eighth. Two outs. Siebert in garbage time will face Lazinski. And there's a runner at first. That's a 25. A 25 is a nine. That's a hit. On a D grade of nine, single to left, runner to second. So Bo is at second now. Lazinski singles. Maddox comes up plate. We have first and second. Siebert stays in. They're not going to waste the pen now. A close game goes to blowout mode. And this is what happens when the Mets bullpen comes in. Maddox 
Can we get that third out? Mercifully, that's a 45 on the Maddox card. 45, oh my, 45 is a 14, first and second. Siebert's wild, that's a walk. And we might have to take Siebert out. Boa to third. Lazinski to second. Maddox to first on the free pass. The Phillies have batted around. Maddox, that was his second at bat in the inning. He homered to start off the inning. And now here's Mud Martin. We're going to give Siebert one more batter. 31. Can we get it out here? 31 is a 9. Jesus Christ. <laughs> we got the bases loaded, right? And that's going to be it. One, two. Yeah, bases are loaded. We can't get one more out from Sonny Siebert. That's a 9 on a horrific degrade. Lined over first, base hit. Bases stay full, but with two outs, two runs score first and third. There's two outs, so two runs score. Boa scores. Lazinski scores. They've played at seven. It's now 11 to two. Philadelphia fans are feeling good about themselves. Maddox goes first to third. Martin singles. He has two batted in. And that is it for Siebert. He stinks. Oops. Hey, go over here. And there's an off day. We're going to go with the C grade. And he's a righty, so he's going to be an A. He had limited playing time with the Mets, but he's a C grade. The pitch to Bobby Boone. 45. First and third. 45. Unbelievable. Is a possibly first and third. Could be a walk. It is a walk. He's not a ZZ pitcher. Bases are juiced. Mets totally falling apart here. I didn't even mark this guy. We're going to have to mark him. Hold on. Let's try to get out of this inning. Morrison comes up. Oh, my Lord. 45. Can we get an out? Unbelievable. Another walk. Eight runs for the Phillies in this inning. Trotting in is Maddox. Hebner's going to hit again. Wow. Here's Richie Hebner, the gravedigger's son. He walked. That's a 42. Please let it be an out. You got to be kidding me. <laughs> What's that? 14. It's a walk. Oh, my God. The Mets have imploded. A Z. Is he a Z? Yes. Ball one. Thank God. He probably gave him a free run probably on the other one. Uh, ball one. Whew. No walk. Hepner again. 41. 24. Mercifully, they'll be out of the inning. 24. Ground ball to short. Foley's up with it. He throws to first. The side is retired finally. The Phillies played eight. They are up 12 to two. It's a 10 run lead for Philadelphia. As Doug Hunt says, oh, those base on balls. Uh, you know what? We're just going to leave Richie Hebner in to play second. And uh, so Harrelson was an eight. Hebner's a five. We go minus three. They're out of 40. You know what? Nope, Sizemore's coming in. We said, yeah, we're going to stay at that uh, 43. So Sizemore will come in to play second.
comes into play set. Um, he should be playing second. I put short because I'm so used to saying Harrelson at short for the Mets. So Sizemore comes in the ninth. And he's an eight. They stay at a fielding column one. We're just going to put this guy here. Doesn't matter. Corneo. I believe the J is silent. One Z C. Okay. All right. That was ugly. That was ugly. Wow. So it looks like we're going back to uh, Shea, not at that one. Bruce Star will stay in. He's still in line to get the save because when he came in, it was a save situation. The win will go to Christensen. Martinez is up. Martinez with a double. So Willie Martinez, no quitting Willie. He doubles. Willie has three hits, a single, a homer, and a double. He's just a triple away from the cycle. Bruce Starr is an A grade on a six. Hustle double. Martinez slides in safe. So Martinez is on Henderson. 0 for 3, striking out twice. That's a 31 to Steve Henderson. 31 is a 9. Holy cow. But he, the A voodoo with a runner at second. The ground ball. To short. Charging it. Is Boa. Advancing to third is Montanez. Nice play by Boa. Henderson will not be DHing in game three. As he's 0 for 4. Bruce Star should be over here. One out runner at third for Elliott Maddox. That is a 54 to Maddox. A 54 is a 32 runner at third. That's going to be out number two. They're playing back. They're going to give up the run if it's on the ground. 32. Fly ball to right. Not deep enough. Charging in, making a catch, and firing to the plate is Shake Bake McBride. Two outs. Philadelphia fans on their feet. That was a horrific bottom of the eighth for the Mets. They gave up eight runs. Bruce Beauclair, the last man standing. It seems like it's going to be two and through. That's a 16 for Beauclair. A 16 is a 28. Runner at third, 28. Chopper to short. Boa up with it. He'll throw to Morrison. This ball game is over. What once was a close game turns into a blowout as the Phillies get eight in the bottom of the eighth. They tie the Northeast region round one double day cup. One game apiece. We'll head to Shea for two in Shea and if necessary, come back for the fifth game here in Philadelphia. Mets get two. The Phillies Get 12. Your winning pitcher is Christensen. Save goes to Bruce Starr. Because when he came in, it was a save situation. Bruce Starr pitched two innings and gave up zero runs. Your losing pitcher is Kuzman. Though he only gave up three earned runs. And then there was a lot of other damage. We don't have to figure it out. It was horrible. Kuzman's a losing pitcher. He did strike out eight. Now, player of the game. Player of the game. I'm giving it to the pitcher, Christensen. He set the tone early, and he struck out nine. So 
we're going to say Christensen, player of game. And, of course, it was a fun game. It's always a fun game when you roll dice. Fun. And thank you. Oops, I don't want to do that. I might want to keep stats. I don't know yet. Thank you, F-O-C. Explanation mark. Wow. We're not at at one. Phillies win 12-2. Christensen the win. Andy's player of the game. Save goes to Bruce Starr because when he came in, in the eighth, it was a save situation. He gets six outs, gives up no runs. Uh, your losing pitcher is Kuzman. Kuzman went six and two third innings, four runs, three of them earned, struck out eight. Pretty good effort by Kuzman. Lockwood, Murray, Siebert, and uh, Cornejo came in after, and they gave up cumulatively uh, eight. Well, it really would be Murray, Siebert, and Canero gave up eight runs. So we're not at one. We go back to Shea for game three, the pitching matchup there quickly, and then we'll call it a stream. Will be Pat Zachary for the Mets. He's a C grade Y pitcher. Now you say, ooh, that's not good, but the Phillies pitching is worse. <laughs> it's going to be Jim Cott, who's a D grade Z pitcher. So beating Carlton was huge when Swan outdueled Carlton in game one. The Mets get their split. They would have liked to have two. They didn't get it, though. So, again, Zachary caught game three probably sometime Saturday or Sunday. I don't know. We'll have some football on the channel, 1978. Um, pro strategy football, Kansas City Chiefs season continues week four against Denver probably tomorrow. I think. So thank you to Doug Hunt, Frank Wayne Scott, Mike Terranova. Check out his channel and subscribe. RJL Network, our good friend Robert, check out his channel and subscribe. Uncle Dave Gardner, you know Dave Gardner. If you, if you have not subscribed, please do so. Also check out Digital Dice with Ron Juckett and check out Ron Juckett on Twitch. That's Retro Sports Network. Doug Hunt, thank you. Cutter Historical, check out his wonderful channel and subscribe. Mark Jones, Philip Reynolds, congrats on the engagement and up, upcoming wedding. Dwayne Mart's YouTube network. Check out his 1978 APA using digital uh, digital diamond baseball PC as the helper. Subscribe to his wonderful channel. Brian Hoxie, thank you. Max Cornelius, thank you. Rocker Roller, thank you. Derek Rao, thank you. Jim L, thank you. And Trav, thank you. Black, yellow, white, thank you, thank you, thank you. If you enjoyed the stream, so a cl close game went pfft, out of hand in the eighth. We we're making good time, too, until that. Uh, hit the like button if you've not subscribed and you wish to do so. That's always cool. If you do subscribe, hit the bell for notification. Come back. Don't miss the fun. Check out all the other wonderful content creators in our community, become a member of the FOC. It's very easy. You subscribe to my channel. You subscribe to their channels. BFOC, friends of the channel, friends of the community for life. Come back where everybody knows your name. Have fun. Enjoy the games you play. Share with us, whether you stream or tell us when we have chats. Maybe we'll have a chat with Al coming up this weekend if we have time. Greatly appreciate everyone's time. Stay safe. Be smart. Treat people the way you want to be treated. God bless. Love you all. You guys make it fun. Thank you very much. Mets go down in a hail of base hits. 12-2. to two. Phillies blow it open in the bottom of the eighth. The series tied at one. We're going to Shea for game three. Zachary Cott. God bless. Peace.